As we continue our series on the topic of encouragement, I wanted to bring to your attention uh, one of the lesser-known Bible characters. His name was actually Joseph, but everybody called him Barnabas. And Barnabas means son of encouragement. We find him quietly encouraging the, the disciples early on in, in the book of Acts, and then we find him helping out Paul at numerous places in his ministry. And in the place that I'm looking right now, Acts 11.25, uh, Paul, who was, of course, the great apostle who wrote all these uh, letters that we still read today. They're part of our scripture. He, he traveled the whole known world. He did so much for the faith. But at the point in which uh, this scripture happens, he had given up and gone home. He had uh, changed. He had first been a persecutor of the church, and then he had uh, found Jesus uh, in a powerful uh, Damascus Road experience and converted. And then he'd gone gangbusters trying to share this word with everybody, and a lot of people didn't want to hear it. And he got in a lot of trouble, people throwing stones at him and things like that. And he had just decided, well, you know, this isn't for me. And he'd gone home. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. So Barnabas, a lesser known character, finds a way to impact the world in ways that are still mattering today. Because the teachings of Paul continue to encourage and strengthen the church. Uh, and, and the amount of work that he did to share the faith, you know, created churches in all kinds of cities and it's just amazing the amount of work that Paul did. But if it hadn't been for the encourager, Barnabas, Paul would just be a side note, a footnote in history. And perhaps we wouldn't even have our Bible today because if the, if the church had kind of died out because it didn't have enough strength to go forward, well, you know, maybe we'd, we wouldn't even be Christians ourselves. And so when we have the opportunity to encourage, we must take it. And when you see someone who is discouraged, especially someone who has some, you know, some real potential to do good, do everything you can to help them to find their way back. Because many of us, most of us, find discouragement along the way, uh, particularly in these difficult times as we face you know, so many difficulties with uh, finances and COVID and death and grief and sorrow and limitations and isolation and all that kind of thing. Discouragement's fairly common these days. But we can be encouragers. And if that's your gift, as it was certainly Barnabas's, gift, please use that to the maximum. And even if it's not your gift, do what you can. Do what you can to help people know that you are coming alongside of them, that you are praying for them, and that you wish the best for them as they are able to come out of that discouragement and accomplish whatever mission it is that God has put upon their heart.